You're listening to 666-C-U-C-K Radio, coming at you live from Vancouver, Washington. Giving you what you didn't know you wanted since 1996. Today we're bringing you one of the hottest up-and-coming bands this radio station has ever seen. Blake doesn't know this song is being broadcasted, and I hope he's not mad, but turn your speakers up in your car, crank the AirPods up to 12, and tune into the song that makes you feel like Washington gets more than three months of summer. This is Feeling Alive by The Filament. Welcome back to the Cold Slice Podcast. If you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button, like us on all of our channels. You know, you can find us pretty much anywhere. Uh, this month, we are wrapping up uh, food carts. Uh, we have tried them all, and we have opinions on them. Uh, to my right is Anthony. To my left is Blake. I'm Dylan Moss. We'll be your co-host for from now until forever. So... Here we go. Uh, I went to just today, actually, because I was a little bit late on this whole thing. And honestly, I kind of regretted that. But I went to your Euro shop. Yeah, what'd you think? I fucking love that place. Hell yeah. That guy and his wife are super cool, and I wish I got their names. They're the sweetest people. Yeah, they are, dude. He. What's it called again? 
the Greek Euro guy. Greek Euro guy. Yep. Greek Euro guy. And yeah, he has nice. the best mustache. It's amazing. It's yeah. honestly like you can't see it on the audio only, but I would say it's it's a solid nine inches wide. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely. Like he just we rolled up. I was very hungover this morning and like we roll up to this place and he's like super cool. He immediately starts out with like, Hey, how's it going? Like, you know, just super nice. His wife is right behind him. Mm-hmm. And we ordered baklava and then nice. we ordered the Euro and I'll throw up pictures of both of those on the podcast or up on our thing. Um, so super cool guy. Very nice. Very sweet. He held the conversation with us in honestly, the time that it took to cook the Euro in the time where I was like ready to be done talking to people. It was about the same. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. So in and out, super nice. Uh, that place, I should put the location in the, um, I'll tag them on our Instagram too, but I will also try to put, put and find their location and put it on your YouTube description. But it's, uh, I don't remember the name of the street. Do you? Mm, I know it's on the east side. It's on 164th or yeah. Andreessen or Mill Plain or one of those. Yeah, it's on the east side of Vancouver. It's uh, right out front of a 76 station. Mm-hmm. And then there is a sushi place and then that pizza place that you and There's like that car place. Yeah, AutoZone? Yeah. Yeah. Or something like that. So anyway, we'll we'll put the description in the in the bio. Uh, super cool place. Definitely gave it a shot. Um, and then you went to the taco place, right? I went to the uh, oh gosh, what's it called? It's the Berea. the Berea place. Ber- Berea. 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 <laughs> we still don't know if we're saying it right. I should have asked <laughs> yeah. while I was there, but um, <laughs> yeah, their food was fantastic. Um, it's I'm gonna butcher the name of it because it's like the. Berea or something like that. Oh yeah, Berea. Um, and so I don't even. Know. We'll have to put that in the description. The maybe spell it out right <laughs> <laughs> correctly too. Um, but no, they did a great job. I uh, I was gonna say at first, you know, hey, it was a little expensive because um, I was pretty shocked when I got my bill on it. Uh, but it was totally my fault and not at all. <laughs> They're not actually that expensive. I accidentally doubled my order when I when I placed it. So I was, thought I was getting four tacos and a burrito for my my wife. And instead, I walked out with uh, eight tacos and a burrito. Mm. That's a good day, though. Yeah. Except yeah. for your paycheck. But it actually hurt, though, because I literally ate all eight tacos. Like, they were, it was fantastic. <laughs> but uh, how much do you remember how much it cost? Ballpark, maybe? Uh like, like the whole tab? Yeah. It was like it was like 40 or 50 bucks after tip, I think. Okay. That's not bad. No, but you know, when I was going there initially and thinking I was getting four tacos, I was like, dang, this place is <laughs> <laughs> they are raking it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like $10 a taco. <laughs> <laughs> and that place is located where? In Hazeldale. It's uh right on uh it's like right off of what's well, right in the same parking lot actually as uh, Unforgettable, which we Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's at the intersection um, on 99th. Yeah, where the Burgerville yeah. and the Walgreens yeah. is. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should mention, too. Um, so we ordered a Euro and two baklava. Nothing else. 17 bucks out the door. It would have been, I think, a lot cheaper if we hadn't have ordered the baklava. Yeah. Yeah. But the baklava was, was which fucking is, awesome. What is that? Because I don't know if I've had it before. I'm sure you have. But it's like honey. It's like basically a layered, like think of like how a croissant like crunches and stuff. It's like that, but it's all honey and like nuts and stuff. Multiple layers, oh. very thin layers of yeah. pastry. Yeah. Huh. That's what you'd say. I uh-huh. actually don't think it's I've like had a golden that. brown color. It's always like Greek places or some pizza places. Mm-hmm. Mm. They used to do a Greek festival in Portland. They may still do it, but mm. I've been a few times and I have not had like that good a baklava since then. Like, nice. It was fantastic. I was like, you guys are killing it. And I feel like, uh, in my lifetime, I've only met a handful of people, but basically you guys, where I'm like, man, I really hope everything like works out for you guys. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> like just in general, just I'm wishing like, ill will on most people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's how I go through my day. But yeah, I mean, I just met these people and I was like, you guys are so sweet. I'm like, you've got a cool setup over here. You know, I don't know if they're like retired or just, I don't know. I, I just, I hope that they are doing well in business and I hope they don't rely on that income. Yeah. I hope they're doing it for fun. Yeah, I mean, they they certainly treat their customers like they're having a good time. Yeah, definitely. They so. do prefer cash. It's not cash only, but they prefer cash. Yeah, and I had cash, and I read that sign, and I still mm. slit the card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So take that fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 17 bucks for, like, two desserts and... Two euros? 
uh, one euro. Oh, one euro. Yeah, not but that bad. I don't feel Jaden like. Jaden didn't like euros. Oh, she doesn't do meat from other places. I forget that. Yeah, and I always forget that too when we go out. But you know, <laughs> we're I, going out for dinner, babe. Yeah, <laughs> where are we like, going? Fuck euros. Oh, I can't have anything. <laughs> yeah. Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oddly enough, she's down with that. Really? Yeah. Like, have, you, have you been to Black Angus yet, actually? She, dude, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> I love that place. Yeah. You said Outback. I was thinking Black Angus. It's mm. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, like, she gives me shit for not really liking. She always says, like, you don't like seafood. And I'm like, eh, not really, but I like sushi. And, like, that's, mm. that's pretty much where it stops. So. That's so interesting to me because most people don't do sushi if they don't do seafood yeah i don't know oh i had the worst piece of sushi i won't name oh, really? the place like there it's one of my favorite spots to go to it's oh, really? uh, over by emmy's parents place um so we'll usually uh, stop uh, in like when we're in a pinch and mm -hmm. we have that craving for sushi uh-huh and I, this is this is the second time actually mm -hmm. <laughs> that i'm like i probably need to stop going here but i've had ended up uh having a piece that was like this Gross. is probably not good, but I don't know because I tried. I, I stepped out of my comfort zone and tried something new mm -hmm. this last time, um, and so I don't know if it was just mm. the fish that I got or Do you if know like what you got. It was a it was a type. So it's a it was a type of tuna. Normally I get mm. like the it's like the what the ahi tuna that they do when you do yeah. it. Is it is ni is nigiri? The nigiri right? is with rice. On Sashimi is without rice, but that's just, and nigiri is like on top of the rice or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was that. I like those. Um, was it mushy? No, no, no. It was so fishy. Like it tasted like Ugh. it mm. tasted like I literally ate no. it like right from the like like there could have been sand on it. It mm. wouldn't have. That's what I don't like. I don't know. Yeah, it was, but it was like so fishy that I was like, "This is not it good." Might be like obviously, I know I'm eating raw fish. Like I yeah. get that, but yeah. like this is like this tastes bad. <laughs> you know, Something's a little fishy about like, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, people don't like conveyor belt sushi places. Mm. I love them. I like to sit yeah. down. I don't want anybody to talk to me. Nope. Like, I want to sit down and immediately just like <sighs> keep going. Just count my plates I'm a two hander end, too. I, I just, will literally like, they just never have the, what I want. Well, what do you want? I want hamachi, which is yellow tail. Well, you can always ask. I know. That's, I, but then, yeah. Yeah. It defeats the point. So where do you go? I go to this place called Yama Sushi. In Sounds Portland. Like Portland, yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. And there's a place called Ekenahana in Beaverton. Huh. I like there. I like sitting down and I like ordering it. Yeah. I just, I never know what I want, what it's called. So I'm always like. Mm. You like looking at it. Yeah. Are I like a roll guy? See it. Am I a roll guy? Yeah. Or do you like the. Yeah. I like the rolls. Okay. Like wrapping seaweed. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Is that your main thing at sushi? You like? Okay. Yes. Cool. Because yeah. I'm not a roll guy. Uh, I like the, just the straight up. Nigiri. Ugh, yeah, that's a little bit much for me, I think. I do both. I'm like, I wait for like my my mm -hmm. very specific nigiri ones that I like yeah. that are coming around. Like I'll do like a salmon one and I'll do like the ahi mm -hmm. tuna, sometimes like a yellowtail or something. Mm -hmm. Freaks me out, man. Um, I stick, I'm not really like an octopus guy, mm -hmm. so I don't, or a squid or whatever, so I don't usually do those. Mm -hmm. I'll eat fried octopus. I do calamari. Like calamari. Like, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's, that that's just or? like... I think it's squid. That's I think I it's you're right. squid. Yeah, but it's a similar family. They're oh, both, they're both cephalopods. Yeah, <laughs> puts on a Thank tweed you. jacket. He's an yeah. encyclopedia. Starts knowing yeah. the word. Yeah. Yeah. Professor Malika like over here, fucking over <laughs> it, dude. Uh, yeah. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't like octopus. I like squid. Okay. Fried squid. My, um, yeah. Go ahead. What were you? Gonna I was say? just gonna say my sushi order is uni, which is sea urchin gonads. Okay, love that. <laughs> I love spicy. I've heard of that, never tried it. It's like the most gamey seafood flavor you can oh. have. Oh, God. But it's wow. really good. Oh, no. it, it's something I had to work up to over years. See, that's what that tuna tastes like. It was like a, it was a, it was like a yellow, mm. ugh, I'm butchering this. It's like a white tuna. Mm. And it was like, it just did not, it was mm -hmm. not, <laughs> not. I am not super it. pretentious. I will order something, and if I don't like it, I will convince myself that my palate isn't sophisticated enough, and I'll keep getting it. <laughs> you'll, you'll put that jacket on, you'll yeah. go back in yeah. there, and you'll be like, mm -hmm, I understand now. Yeah, now I get it. So this man has I, a Walmart shirt. We're wearing the same we shirt. We are wearing the same exact shirt. You yeah. Can see on the <laughs> Unplanned. We just felt the same way today. From Walmart. But it doesn't I, look like a Walmart shirt. No, it doesn't. But you're wearing a Walmart shirt and a blazer from mm -hmm. where I would assume is probably, probably from Nordstrom. Express. Okay. I yeah. don't know what's Express. Got it off the rack. It's like another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, I don't know, like a 
Target for clothes. Oh. Like just clothes. I don't know. Express? Yeah. Isn't it in the mall? Mm-hmm. Everything there is expensive as fuck. I go to H&M. Yeah. Because it's surprising. I feel like of all the places, it has like kind of decent, casual, nice clothes. It's like the same And shit. it's not as expensive as some other places I've gone. I agree for sure. I hate shopping for clothes. That's I, on my top 10. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I, I like shopping when it's for food. I like grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to go any other shopping. Uh, Jaden gives me shit because uh, on occasion, uh, less less these days, but my mom will still buy me like Costco clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Kirkland. Nice. Yeah, like Kirkland <laughs> brand. Tell her to keep that up. <laughs> <laughs> and like Calvin Klein is mm-hmm. at Costco. Nice. So And they actually, Costco's got some good deals on clothes. I, I know. I went in there saying. not too long ago. I was like, are you shitting me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely left with a shirt myself. Yeah. So that's basically left me with like only knowing my shirt size. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know what size pants I wear. Mom? I, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. no fucking clue. But yeah, I hate it too. Um, yeah, I'm the same size as I was in high school. So most of my clothes have been bought by my mom. So like, there you I'm go. still wearing, this is a f- jacket from high school. <laughs> so I don't know where I got it. I Dude, I wish I still fit in my high school clothes. Yeah, that's that's quite like the better. flex there. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was a we're scrawny come, kid. We're coming though, up on our tenure here. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Next year is our tenure. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yours is this year. Yeah, it is. Fuck. Yeah, I'm you gonna go. Yeah, I was no. like, I gotta accomplish a lot of stuff <laughs> in this year in order to feel comfortable going to that. <laughs> I'm not fucking going to that, dude. I don't believe in it. I, I don't care what my people. I, from you already see the team. people you want. Well, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, because I thought about it the other day when this crossed my mind. I mm-hmm. was like, you know what? I feel like I have stayed connected. With, yeah, and I hang out with the people that I want to see from high mm-hmm. school. Everybody else, I'm like, who fucking cares? You know what? I'm sure that they're different people too now. You know, everybody grows and changes. Mm-hmm. But I, mm-hmm. you're not somebody I care to hang out with. I don't need any more friends either. No, like I have enough friends. I'm good now. I love the idea of like 100 of our old high school friends watching this and be like, oh, I guess they don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> <laughs> if we had 100 people watching this, that'd be great. <laughs> so, <laughs> be like, yeah. what no, our man. Last episode get eight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I don't fucking care. And I don't, I, now that doesn't mean that I like don't care about them. I just don't want to see them. Mm. You know what I mean? Like there's a cup, there's a handful of people from high school where I'm like, I would enjoy to see them again, but I don't want to have to tell these people like, I don't want to have to have small talk with them and then also no. have to repeat myself of like what I'm doing with my life now. Yeah. Right. To, I don't like to talk about it in general. Like, not that I'm having a, like, mm-hmm. I have a bad life or anything, but I'm right. like, I, I'm it's living weird. it right now. I don't need to have this conversation <laughs> with you. Every, if you don't know what I'm doing, mm-hmm. <laughs> live in the moment, man. There's probably a reason. High school was a weird time. And like, those, the boys I hang out with, hung out with in high school, still cool people, I'm sure. But uh, on top of that, like, I think the invention of Facebook really kind of is weeding, is getting rid of the, uh, uh, the 10 years and stuff. Mm. There's no mystery yeah. anymore. I mean, everybody's on Instagram and Facebook yeah. now, you know. If I want to know what you're doing, I'll look at your shit. Like, otherwise. Or you'll show me because you have to post a million times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, sorry. Where were we? We were at uh, Food Carts. So I love your Euro shop. Thank you. You like the taco shop? I did. It's it, good. Yeah, it's it's a good spot. Yeah. So, so we recommend all three places. Yeah. Also, Bonmi Saigon. Is also fantastic. And what's cool about that yeah. is it's literally on the other side of the street from, which is just kind of oh, convenient. But we, yeah. so we did Unforgettable. I did Bon Me Saigon uh, for their Bon Me sandwiches, which is awesome. And then mm-hmm. also the Maria place, they're all like right <laughs> next to each other, <laughs> the same intersection. So it was a real Hazeldell kind of. That's it's how a good, far it's we're a good, willing to travel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's right on the corridor. It is. Um, yeah. So you guys check them out. I mean, uh, that Euro shop, East Vancouver, the rest of them are in Hazeldale. Um, on to recommendations, I think. So in the last couple of episodes, we kind of teased that we were going to ask you guys for recommendations um, on places to eat and things like that and review. And you guys gave us some for sure. So we have Outlaw Barbecue in uh, Portland. We have La- uh, the Sombrero Tap whatever. Sombrero Tapatio, I think is what it's called. We'll list them. We'll list them on the screen. Yeah, we'll throw them up there. But we did get suggestions, so we have those two. And then we have the Longhouse uh, for sushi with a specific chef. We'll try to make that work. We'll definitely go to the Longhouse, but we'll try to make it work with that specific chef. Um, And then we had uh, somebody wanted something on the waterfront, so we'll do something there too. Maybe stack. Good good choice for me, yeah. Burgers. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I like it. Or Grasa or... 
whatever that fish place is. I don't know. Twigs, I think is what it's called. Mm. Oh, uh, you're talking about wild. Wild, wild fish. Yeah. 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 So those are our suggestions, and we'll get to them. I think that's uh, Outlaw, El Tapatio, which <laughs> that's a weird one, but uh, The Longhouse, and then uh, Somewhere on the Waterfront. So four. We got to hit up four spots. Okay. We're going to go more in depth on these ones too. Uh, we kind of glossed over food carts a little bit. I'm sure people appreciated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. We, they just want to know where is good to go. And as long as we give our endorsement, I think that's what it's about. Yeah. I think I, we should, we're going to meet back up though. Yeah. Yeah. We should yeah. have dinner. I was going to say we're getting closer and closer to trying uh, like breweries and stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, we, we were talking about that last night. How do you feel about breweries? Trying beers great. out. Yeah, I'll start drinking again. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I thought I was going to go uh, sober till March, mm. and then I was like, no. <laughs> I'm over it. Well, at least we're not drinking on the show anymore. Yeah, that's true. I mean. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. <laughs> spice it up. Tell us in the comments if you like that. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. We got some feedback. Uh, people want us to go places. I'm all about that. I'm like, at least people are listening. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. or just looking at our Instagram. Yeah, that's cool too. Well, in all those spots, um, except for I have been to Longhouse and that's really good. So I don't know if I've mm-hmm. had that specific chef or not, but all those other places I haven't been to yet. So it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited about the um, Outlaw Barbecue. Jaden does not like barbecue. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah, she doesn't like uh, meat, meat from, from other cool kitchens. Yeah. She also doesn't like vinegar, which is like barbecue. That's what barbecue is. Mm-hmm. It's like vinegar and brown sugar and ketchup. <laughs> so depending on where you're going. Wow, I've where never, is that outlaw place? The, I didn't even know there was any Portland. My barbecue. Oh, it's Portland. Mm-hmm. There's so many barbecue places. I wonder what makes that one super special. I don't know. They said they really enjoyed it, though. So, right. is it better than Goldie's? They said it was uh, poor friendly too, <laughs> which yeah, is nice because I'm like, oh, yeah. sweet. I'm eating Goldies. good then. <laughs> have you been to Goldie's? Uh-uh. It's on like Camas side. I have. I know I what you're talking Goldies. about. That place is good. Yeah, hmm. maybe I'll give that place a shot. It's good. Actually, mm-hmm. I feel like maybe your family took me there. Maybe we, we used to go there a lot. Sick. What else is good? There's uh, lots of good barbecue. There's one that opened up in Salmon Creek that I haven't been to yet, and I really want oh, to. Oh, yeah. I have. Are you talking about the one that used to be where the pizza meets is? Yeah. I've been there. It's really? actually actually pretty good. Yeah. Is it Creekside Barbecue? Is I went to... Uh, I think you're right. Uh, it's in Salmon Creek. I don't know. Yeah, it's literally right next to where the, like, the GameStop is. And yeah. The, I, yeah, I've been there a few times. It's yeah. decent. Yeah, I it's like their good. collard greens and their Carolina. I like their yellow sauce. Nice. It's weird when you walk in there, though, because it's literally like, like this is pizza's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Where's the alcoholic just... dude that runs this place? <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they still have like the same tap thing set up, too. Oh, yeah. You know, which is cool. Hmm. Did they still have the fireball tap? Oh, I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> that was, that was it, wild. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Fireball so, tap? Yeah, they had a at tap. pizza's pizza? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? Dude, we used to go there That's after crazy. work every day for like months and months like probably almost a year we weren't drinking the fireball though but <laughs> no no <laughs> somebody was because they kept it there no i don't think so no because it's <laughs> out it it sits out. Then? i don't remember it was just upside down and in that thing i was like who's drinking this enough to do that the I wonder, owner i wonder if it wasn't actually <laughs> oh, yeah, fireball I, it, I think no, it was it definitely fireball. definitely was <laughs> yeah. Tap fireball it was okay. a bottle of fireball in the top oh yeah crazy i don't know man but um That's insane yeah, did you guys see, speaking of barbecue and going going out to eat, did you guys see that Korea is banning dog meat? Damn. Finally. <laughs> I honestly didn't even know they were eating dogs. Yep, they have dog farms. I think it I think it was on its way out. Is it North and South Korea or was it all of Korea? Or? I think North is on its own. I think they're oh. just eating whatever comes across their... So their South Korea, I don't, I don't know how much meat. they're actually eating over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen some of those videos? They're crazy. Uh, yes. They're like, I'm pretty sure that this isn't real. You know, like when we watched <laughs> watching the interview. Do <laughs> you guys mm-hmm. remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was like, I was like that's got to be fake, right? And I guess, <laughs> I don't know. There's some truth behind that. Uh, yeah. So, so what, what was going on there? I don't have any idea. Well, this. so like. It feels obviously, like a stereotype. Is it? <laughs> but it was actually happening. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was real. There's like a lot of a lot of cultures that actually eat dog, though, or mm-hmm. like in horse and like all sorts of stuff. Yeah. 
Totally. I mean, is it good? I honestly, I'm like, I don't know. Emmy got so mad at me. So no. my wife is Korean, by the way. <laughs> She's never eaten dog. I don't know mm. if anybody in her family has. I don't think. I don't think. So. Uh, <laughs> like, but uh, I've eaten pussy, but I've never eaten dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, ate a lot of cat in my life. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, she was pretty mad at me though, because I was like, you know what? I mean, if it's if it's been around for this long and so many cultures are eating it, <laughs> it might be pretty good. There might Manny be something. Pretty tasty. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I might have to. I would try it. You know, I mean, I, how I, would you, if it was like if it's thrown into some noodles? How would you even know? I don't know. I mean, you know? I'd feel terrible. I might like shed a tear as I'm doing it, but like, I feel like if I was like somewhere where they're eating dog and like they offered it to me, like that dog's already dead. You know? Mm. Yeah. I feel like I'd almost be doing a disservice by like not eating it. Yeah, but then you're contributing to like the, you know, like you bought one, so then someone else, you know. Look, man, I'm not saying it's right. Supply and demand, <laughs> baby. What kind of breeds? I honestly, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you're going to make your own demand. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, can I get the Shiba Inu? You're like, nobody likes eating Where is it you're still like, legal? Well, it's dead, so Where is it, it still legal? <laughs> <laughs> it's still legal, so travel there if you want. Find out. I thought you said it was banned. Not yet. I think it's oh, going to be a little while. It's proposed. No, it is, the ban will go into effect oh, in a couple of years. Oh, so They're like we got to cut this shit out. Like, we're going yes. to uh, we're going to Korea in 2025 this next year. So really nice. I'll try it then. There Let you go. You guys know. I don't remember what year. Just, I don't know do if it. I could do it. I don't think I could actually do it. I, I think I'd. I, I don't think I could either. I don't know actually. Though. There's like the sick there. twisted part of my head that's like maybe I will. <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah. I just might. I might throw up immediately afterwards, but where are you guys going to go? Where are we going? Yeah, like what are you going to do there? Uh, I don't know all of the details. Uh, we're going to go with uh, her mom and dad and I think her aunt and uncle as well and probably some other family members. Um, nice. her, Have they been her, before? Her mom and dad. Um, well, her dad grew up there. Oh, I didn't know that he grew up there. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're going to potentially go with my uh, your dad? dad and stepmom as well, mm. which would be cool because – That'll be cool. Um I know EJ grew up in Seoul. I'm not certain where really? Bill. Grew Are they up. all born here? Are they? Huh? Are they born in the U.S.? And the, or did they, they emigrate? Or did they? No, they immigrated over. Oh both, wow! Both EJ and they got their citizenship uh, afterwards. Yeah, oh. they were. They I had no were, idea. I didn't know that. I had no idea about that. Oh yeah, yeah. When EJ immigrated over here with her family, they literally um, they moved on to like the east side of Vancouver. Uh, she was. They were pretty young, her and her I brother. That was hard to do. I think it is. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well, they came over and they started a, a like a grocery or like market place, mm -hmm. and they literally lived behind it, like oh, attached yeah. to it. It was Classic. like one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, cool. Yeah. And then Bill, uh, yeah, Bill and his sister came over this way too. Nice. That's sick. Yeah. I don't know where they where they were. Well, like my, I also there, have an Asian stepmom, <laughs> so. You do? Yeah. She's Filipino, though. I've never met. Did I meet her? Yeah. Oh, I didn't party. realize she was Filipino. Yeah. Well, she looks young as fuck, so probably just look like a friend you didn't know. Oh, I thought I met her. You did? At your house. Yeah, she doesn't you did. look Filipino to me. No, nah, she's pretty white these days. Mm. But yeah, she is. she's Filipino. Cool. Mm -hmm. She did not immigrate. <laughs> so, less cool. Uh. <laughs> her dad did, though, I think. Okay. Something like that. Or a diverse group. Mm -hmm. What can I say? Hell yeah. <laughs> Did your mom and dad immigrate from... White. Indiana? <laughs> <laughs> no. Kansas? No, yeah. they're, they're from Washington. <laughs> I did some deep dives on, uh, or my, I guess my brother did. He did like the 23andMe kit, you know? Oh, um, yeah. And I guess if you get like a certain whatever one, it'll like show you like like a bunch of documents from your family and like where like you guys, whatever, you uh -huh. know, tree started, sprouted and all that stuff. And I guess like... A lot of our family went to like Ellis Island, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. and then was like Wisconsin. <laughs> it was like where they chose. That's why you so, like the Packers. So yeah, I was mean. like, all right, <laughs> I guess I, I've never been, but I do like, yeah. Green like Bay. The Packers. <laughs> yeah. Makes I've, sense. My Same dad blood. keeps saying that we're from the Czech Republic and we haven't done 23 Mean yet, but we will do it, Jaden and I. But it, I'm kind of worried because I'm like, you know, I, <laughs> What has my dad been up to? What if you and your fiance are actually related? I, I think if you go <laughs> back kidding. far enough, you could make that claim, you know? We're, who was talking about that? Was that you talking about that or what? I'm trying to think if I, uh, 
I don't know. I'm pretty hung over myself, actually. We, <laughs> Dylan and I hung out last night. <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> you were Blake, doing a show. Blake was busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They were planning on coming to the show. They didn't make it. <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't make it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not to this it one. would not have been safe. Um, <laughs> it's just us like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, in this coffee shop. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, I don't even know what the fucking, what the check do. Like what their thing is. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah. I might want to look into that. Though. Yeah, they do uh, have a republic. We should check on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of comedy you guys tune in oh, for. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Something about like supposedly there's some, I don't know, deal where people are saying like m- most everybody can be traced back to like the same 26 families that were on the Mayflower or something like that. Oh, yeah. Sure. And I was like, uh, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Go back so. further than that and we can all be traced. Like 80% of the population can be traced back to Genghis Khan and the gang. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's true. That's what they say anyway. I had no idea. Yeah, a lot of the ego on that guy. I uh, know. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um, fuck, where were we? I don't know. Before I derailed that. us pretty hard. A little bit. Oh, dog farms. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there were dog farms. Uh, there still are. And then the government's just like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to stop doing that. Because I think, it's, I think it's one of those things where it was like so built into the culture, such a norm. And then, you know, as the younger generation got connected to the outside world, because mm-hmm. before all of this, the cell phones and the in- social media and shit like that, the only way you'd find out culture is by going to the place, mm-hmm. you know, or knowing someone that came from the place. But now with social media, you can figure it out immediately. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously you've got like all these other people around the world that are like, that's kind of fucked up. We like our dogs, Mm -hmm. you know, apart from the Russians. But they probably have dogs too. And they eat The Koreans? Yeah. They probably have pet dogs and they eat the dogs. Yeah. I don't know if they eat their pets, but. No, I doubt it. I'm sure it's like. Maybe it's like having a pet cow here. I don't think. Well, maybe. I don't know. But I guess it's. uh, the government finally caught on. People are eating it less. There's less of a demand. Hmm. So they're just like, fuck it. Let's wind it down. So many different types of hmm. dogs. I know. I don't know Which one would that. you prefer? Uh, I don't know. Like pit bulls. Yeah. You probably pretty again. lean. I bet you that's a pretty lean meat. Yeah, they're pretty probably, red. Like, <laughs> kind of muscly. So you, want some, you, want, you want some couch surfing dog probably. Like a, a little bit of- St. Bernard. That would be good. It might be a solid choice. Yeah. You don't want like good any of the small dogs, I'd bet. No, no, I mean nothing on them. Mm. Like a Chihuahua, mm. gross. No, what about like a Great Dane? Or <sighs> There's not much on them they, either. Yeah, they're pretty. No. I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I'm thinking of the big dogs. What are some other big dogs? Yeah, Great Dane. Those are big. Um, you don't really see like fat dogs that often. I feel like. Uh, you have are a you, dog that's fat. You think Manny's fat? He's not yeah, that fat. he's just long. What the fuck are you talking about? He's just a lot of skin, or what? He's fluffy, dude. He's got a lot of hair. <laughs> he's ripped. I took him to the I took him to the vet, and she said she's been in the business for like twenty seven years, and she said she'd never seen a corgi with that much muscle mass on him. And I was like, I literally was like, yeah, his dick touches the ground too. I was, yeah. like, he's, <laughs> I was like, he's a big boy. Well, you guys were late to getting him clipped, weren't you? Or is he yeah. even? Yeah, he's. We were a little late to the game to do that, but yes, he is clipped. Yeah, because I think like if you, the longer you go, the more you know jacked they're going to be because that testosterone is just going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't think a corgi would be a good eat. I don't know. They could be. I looked at Manny the other day and I was like, <laughs> if I had to in a pinch, like yeah, <laughs> I could probably think of a few good ways to cook you up. <laughs> It's terrible. I was, That's terrible. <laughs> oh my wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh you know, there's always that there's like that saying that everyone's heard a million times over where it's like if you die in a house and it's just you and your cat, the cat will mm-hmm. eat you. Mm-hmm. I was reading this thing on Reddit where it's like, you know, paramedics or nurses or whatever chime in. And so basically it was like your cat will eat you faster than you think. Mm. Like way faster. Like half your face will be gone. Even if it's like been just two days or something. Oh God! Yeah, like very quickly. That is disgusting. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a cat person. Me neither. And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, Blake. I, I know cats. that. I know okay. that you like cats. Yeah. yeah. I didn't Where used to they? like cats. They're I don't, always hiding. Huh. Like to be fair, like I don't dislike cats. Best cats. I just I don't think I would own. I'm sure it will at some point. I don't have a choice. I'll like I'll end up with one. You know. Yeah. Like, but I don't. I don't think I would actively go out and search for like a cat. I didn't actively search. Yeah, they came to her. Or I was trying to go to work is what happened and they were just in our car engine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling me that story. Out next to the barn? Right in front of the house. 
Okay. So wow. we rescued them and then kept them. Oh, so they, 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 they found you. Yeah. <laughs> I stole a cat once. Or I didn't, but I was definitely part of a party that did. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In college, uh, <laughs> in college, we were trying to go over to visit one of our buddies who was going to UW. Um, and uh, I'm not going to name any names so nobody gets in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> the cat did not have a collar or anything on it like that. It just, uh, it was super cold out. It was like winter. You know, we're coming from eastern Washington mm-hmm. over to you know, driving back basically. And we uh, had to take like this detour because part of the road got closed. Yeah. And then our buddy's car died conveniently while we're out in the middle mm. of literally nowhere. <laughs> so we're waiting on a tow truck and this little kitten was like mm. like super small and it just kept coming up and it wouldn't leave our side. Mm-hmm. That's and fair game. That's a feral It cat. was super dark out there. Like the car yeah. wasn't working. So we didn't really like, you know, we weren't keeping mm-hmm. the headlights on or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know how close the house actually was, but <laughs> we're like, we're not a hundred percent sure if we didn't end up stealing that cat or not. There was no collar, no like. I think it's fair game. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. your cat is out there, no collar, there no are identification. so many cats. Right next to the road. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. What'd you guys do with that cat though? Uh, so I actually ended up going to my buddy's parents. Oh, cool. Uh, so we, we took it back, um, hit it in one of the girl's shirts that was with us. <laughs> nice. When we took the tow truck all the way back to Eastern, we had the cat for like maybe, maybe a few weeks. And then mm-hmm. my buddy took it home with him when we went back on Christmas break mm-hmm. and the cat just never made it back up to college. So oh. the family adopted it. Korean? Huh? Korean? No. <laughs> no that's dogs, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Does any, cats do are do people table. eat cats? I'm sure. Uh, you know what? I don't know if they eat them, but New Zealanders, fun fact, actually will hunt them every year. Weird. Really? Yep. Because cats are like the like the uh, domestic terrorist for wildlife. And New Zealand has so many uh, exotic birds and stuff like that that they'll oh, actually kill. Interesting. And cats don't, they don't, Kill to eat, they kill for fun most of the time. Yeah, they are sadistic. They're a little weird. They'll pl- sit there and play with it. Like, yeah, I've mm-hmm. noticed that. So every year, New Zealand will do a cat hunt. And it's Which just doesn't normalized. that freak you out? Because, like, obviously, lions, a big cat. Like, mm. yeah. Do you think it would just play with you? Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, a, a house cat will fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Like, I. But you know how, like, when it gets a mouse, it's just like, huh, huh, like, keep swatting it around and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're a mouse to that lion for yeah. sure. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Dude, cougars are crazy as shit. Like, especially the younger ones. Like, you guys ever seen videos where people are, like, encountering them? Yeah. You usually, they don't live unless it's, if they yeah. do, it's because it was, like, a like a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a buddy who was telling me <clears throat> a story about, I think it was a guy out in the East Coast or whatever, but he's doing a run and then, like, out of nowhere, because you don't ever see cougars unless they're... No, they're always behind you. Yeah. So he's running. You. He's got his headphones in, and all of a sudden, the cougar, like, jumps on his back, and their signature move is to try to snap your neck. Mm. So the cougar tried to do that. The guy flipped around and was lucky, got it on the ground, and then choked it to death. Like, choked it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, heard, I remember <laughs> yeah. hearing about that. And that was because that was a smaller... Yeah. Uh, that was like a, like a bit juvenile or whatever. Yeah, the young ones are just crazy they're really mean <clears throat> apparently there's one up at uh remember you, like you wanted to take me on that hike at one yeah, point and i was like yeah. neither of us had a weapon and it literally is like we passed like three signs that were like <laughs> warning cougar sightings cougar sightings <laughs> yeah. i look out there i was like literally nobody is looking at this trailhead right now there's no cars parked nobody's mm-hmm. out here's like yeah we should do it i'm like <laughs> fuck no fucking way <laughs> i know it's stupid <laughs> i was like no he's like well, we drove all the way out here i was like that sucks dude drive me home i'm not going out there i'm not going all the way out here to die and be cougar food oh, yeah i think we got beers instead yeah which was like we won perfect you know perfect situation uh yeah so i guess that's my <laughs> my weekend update is that korea is no longer farming dogs that's cool so good for them yeah. or they won't be soon anyway um did you guys hear we're going to war again? With who? The same people we always go to war with. Iraq, Syria. Really? Yeah. Well, I have stopped watching the news, so. That's that's good. We're doing it again? So, I don't know if you saw that uh I think it's Houthi or Houthi, Houthi, whatever or Yemeni blah blah blah, whatever. Somebody attacked a base, a US military base uh in one of those countries. And they ended up actually killing three service members and I wounding did, I a saw lot. That, yeah, yeah, they wounded like forty more or something, twenty-four more or something mm. like that. So 
the president was basically like, mm, we're not fucking around with that. And then five days went by and nothing, nobody heard anything. You know, we didn't do anything. And then all of a sudden we bombed the fuck out of like a bunch of different places. And this was like this week. Like, Did the government attack us or like a terrorist group? It was the government, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, So, yeah, it was uh, whatever group is, is running. backed by oh. Iran. Mm. So, yeah, kind of fucking nuts. I'm not exactly stoked for that. I don't know, but I'm kind of like, duh. Yeah. Like, I feel like, <laughs> you know, yeah. I feel like literally we have been li- moving towards this for mm-hmm. so long. And I was like, this is just going to, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'm so like not, uh, I not just, informed on this right now. I happen to catch it. But yeah. I haven't, uh, I don't want to like speak and sound dumb necessarily, but I, it does not surprise me. That's basically what the president said. He basically, not verbatim, but he was like, fuck around and find out. He's like, we're not looking to go to war, but he's like, if you guys attack us, then we are, we will retaliate. Mm. So they bombed a fuck ton of places and like. Hopefully it's a one and done. Hopefully, probably not. Yeah. Uh, my brother's in the Marines though, mm. so good luck to him. <laughs> like, I think he's getting shipped out. He, he didn't say where he was going because he said he couldn't. Mm. And this was also back in December. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if this is like, maybe they thought it was going to happen anyway. Where's Toby Keith? We need another album. Where is Toby Keith? <laughs> I know. He's making a comeback. We talked about this once before, I'm pretty sure. I heard really? he did that one show. Oh, yeah. I think he probably already did it because I was is talking he, about it a while ago. Does anyone know if he's cleared his stomach cancer yet? I have no idea. I think, I think he's in remission. Nice. nice. I think. My boy. Yeah. Him and John Daly. We need Toby Keith and John Daly. Get them out there on the front lines, dude. Mm-hmm. They'll put an end to this. <laughs> like, you know what? Huge boom. I think boxes. I'd like to be American. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so kind of a crazy update. I uh, kind of hope we don't go to war, but also, who knows? Might be fun. Uh. <laughs> I think if we did, I think it would be bad. But I also think that it would simplify a lot of the things that are going on right now, and we'd have a bigger issue to worry about. Yeah, that it might not be that bad of a thing. You know what? I have to <laughs> go s- back and forth. <laughs> yeah, create some jobs. Yeah. Exactly. I've said for a long time, get our economy back on track. <laughs> like nothing brings a country together better than a war. Uh, depending, okay. right? Depending on the war. Like, look at World Civil War II. War. <laughs> <laughs> say, yeah, Fair that enough. Was, that one it wasn't awesome. People <laughs> didn't like Iraq the first time, but what about a second time? <laughs> you know? Maybe we just didn't like it. It's like a bad breakup. It's yeah. Like, maybe it'll be different. This time. Yeah, yeah. It's an acquired taste, you know? But uh, yeah. nothing brings a country together better than a war. I swear to God. And I think we need that more than anything. Not the war, but... A, Ratified country. Did you guys hear? Um, what am I, Howard Stern? Jesus, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you guys hear about? And I need to. I'll try to find the article and send it to you guys. But um, they're talking about like solar flares that were going to be like pretty intense. Um, and like at some ago? point this year. Oh okay. well, yeah, it's going to be at some point like this year. Mm-hmm. And like I don't know, scientists were saying like there's a really good chance like if these are as strong as they say that it could essentially like wipe out our internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For weeks or upwards of a few months, I would love and I was like, that. if that happened, <laughs> that's not going to be good. <laughs> There's no war that could be worse than us losing our internet. I feel like everything would go to shit. That's true. You know, I, I was like, I wouldn't it. even be able to ha- find my way back to the house. Probably for one, <laughs> two, like our all of our banks are online. So like, I mean, when we don't have money, people are going to yeah. lose their shit. All of the payment <laughs> systems everywhere. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, I um, thought about that. I was like, wow, that could be. That could be not good. We'd be fucked. I mean, honestly, though, they say that shit all the time. And it's always like, yes, but there are literally solar flares every day. Like, mm. you know, like, it, yeah. who knows? Who fucking I'll knows? try to find the article again. But yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's the same thing where it's like everybody's like, well, the Mayan calendar ends in 2012. We're all Fuck those people. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Tony Which they got me pretty good for that. The 2012 was this. I was a susceptible age at that point, and I definitely was like staying up. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah. yeah, December, whatever it was, I was like, oh God, this is the night. People love creating weird like things, like end of the world scenarios. I don't know what it is, but they love it. Oh man, what's that movie? It just came. What? 2012? <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> don't look uh, up. No, that's a good one too. Yeah. 
got, I think it's, her name is Julia Roberts. I think it's got Julia Roberts mm-hmm. in it. I don't know. Uh, it's newer. It's on Netflix. Um, Leave the it? World Behind, maybe, is what it's called. Ah. It's got a name, something like that. I don't even remember I feel what like she that looks might like. Be right. What's it about? Um, it's basically about, and it never really says who, but um, about a war. And uh, mm. the... Um, it's always the Russians. Who, always. I, I, they, it doesn't sh- It doesn't say in, in the, the movie, but... Um, it's crazy. It's actually it was actually a pretty good movie, but it definitely like I was like I'm building a go bag. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> cuz it was the same kind of deal. It was like they had like Teslas that are like r- like all like, you know, self-driving themselves and like mm-hmm. running into shit and like Oh, uh, gotcha. You know, everything shut down and I always think well, first of all, in the, in a situation like that, I'm fucked cuz I have to go in every 2 months for an infusion. <laughs> so it's over for mm-hmm. me. So, good luck to you guys. But in the situation in the event that like that wasn't a reality for me, in that sort of situation, honestly, man, I think that nukes are just the next, the next step. Like if we go to a war that big where we're affected that much, we're all getting nuked, hundred percent. I just don't understand like why there. What would be the occasion to actually ever use those? Because like you're just gonna wipe out everybody. Well, like, it's the it's the. Um, what do they call that? Um, if you and I both have them, if one of you uses them, I'm going to use mine. You know, if we're still around, it's like a cold war. <laughs> yeah, mutually assured destruction. That's oh. what it's called. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I don't know why you would use it, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's just like a big muscle to flex. Like I don't know. I don't know who would. Yeah. Well, we did, except for maybe. Well, yeah, those are little compared to what they have now, though. Yes, I was going to say the stuff we have now is so scary. People would be really, really dumb to do that. <laughs> there's a um, there's an interactive map on the internet that you can go try out nukes. Like, <laughs> you enter in your zip code and then you go, "What would happen?" And what so, would my school look like if I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder if that desk that I had to hide under was <laughs> you know, would actually save me from this. <laughs> no, not at all. So anyway, you enter in this thing and like. I did the the biggest one, which is the Tsar Bomba, is what it's called, I think. Mm. Russian? I, yeah. And they, yeah. I'm sure we have one, too, and just haven't said anything. But it's the biggest one they have, and uh, just in case you were curious, Vancouver's off the map. Okay. <laughs> like, even if you're in the center, I don't think you're safe. Mm. So Are they just, like, hanging out in space? Is that how that works? I don't know. No, they shoot them from... Silos. Yeah. They like, open oh. up from the ground and then goes... Mm-hmm. Or they can shoot smaller oh. ones from submarines. Oh, I thought they were like up in the atmosphere and then they like bring them down. Like, do they have space rockets that are ready they can to shoot? Go. Ready to shoot down? No, I don't think they're sitting up in space right now. Oh. That's too much of a risk. Because mm. what if it comes down and like you know? Mm. I mean, that would the- be terrifying if that's how they did. Stuff. Can you imagine if one just <laughs> yeah. got slightly off course and it's like. <laughs> From well, space shit, debris. you know, mm-hmm. dang it. Yeah. There goes Malaysia. Not again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. here goes ourselves. How do we explain that? <laughs> yeah. Nah, no fucking way. But they do have uh, missiles that will go into, like, the stratosphere and mm. come down. Mm. But, uh, yeah, that's a weird topic. But I guess... Yeah, I like, to- let's just get super sad and scary. <laughs> <laughs> to your point, though, like, even if that were the case, even if it did come down, nukes aren't, like, a regular explosive. They have to be activated. You know, even if it came down, basically the worst that would happen, I think, with a nuke is that now you have irradiated material, like, somewhere. Mm-hmm. So it's not like a – you don't just accidentally push it over and then it explodes. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a whole thing going on. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'd be really worried about the radiation too because, like, yeah. just you're yeah. screwed for what – ever you're fucked are people did you i watched a weird um it's actually a really interesting d- documentary a long time ago i don't know the name or many like sources anything like that but it was cool because they were walking around um hiroshima chernobyl mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. there and like uh-huh. um there's people that still live on the outskirts yeah yeah and it's like the radiation levels are like high yeah <laughs> I, <laughs> I like, there's a lot crazy. of propaganda that like it's not real yeah, I know, because that's what that? there's all these families that are just living there, like totally fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't have like extra limbs growing or anything, mm. and their foods like they're like testing the food, and it's got radiation in it and everything mm. else. And it's like that's nuts. Yeah, I'm like that's so weird. Mm. I mean, they're uh, on the outskirts of like obviously Hiroshima and Nagasaki got rebuilt, so 
but that's not a nuclear reactor. That was just the bombs. But uh, you can actually, in Japan, you can go to those, you can go to certain spots where there's a town that's abandoned. Uh, and then you can only go on like certain days. I think it depends on like what the wind is doing. And like if it's raining, I think that's better or worse to go. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Because hmm. they, uh, what was the, where did that tsunami hit? That's what I'm talking about. You know, in Japan, the big tsunami. 20 something no I, I don't know where it hit yeah anyway there was a huge tsunami and it wiped out a reactor a oh. reactor Fukushima mm. yeah so anyway they're having a bunch of issues right now where they're like we've taken all of this debris uh, radioactive debris and they've you know made it safe sort of but now it's starting to leak out mm -hmm. so that's weird. I don't know how the fuck we got here. We're a food podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're a comedy podcast disguised as a food podcast, and we're talking about and we're nuclear reactors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. <laughs> but anyway, so I guess we'll go to those recommended places. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have radiation? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll fucking find out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's all we got for this week. <laughs> right. That was fucking weird, dude. I don't know what is going on. Uh, tell them about your whatever you got going on. Your I got scammed album. or my album. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Just tell them about the album. Yeah, the album. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next single is uh, called Feeling Alive. It comes out February 16th. Yeah. That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. So we've, we've got Make This Last, Better Off, Feeling Alive, and we have a, more singles coming out after that. The whole thing drops on... March 15th. Okay, cool. I'm debating whether... I think I'm going to drop it on, like, the whole thing on Bandcamp and SoundCloud so people can listen to it, but I think to, like, stay in the Spotify algorithm, they only push singles, and you can only have one song that's being, like, pushed by the algorithm at one time. Really? So I think I might... I haven't 100% decided, but instead of dropping the album and then needing to spend, like, a shitload of money on five songs all coming out at the same time... Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to keep spreading them out one month at a time just for Spotify and streaming, but people can go on Bandcamp or SoundCloud and hear them all. Sweet. And that's the filament. It's the filament, yes. With an F. With an F. Yeah. The filament. <laughs> Check it out. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, if you haven't bought one already, how do they do it? Well, you can email thefilamentmusic at gmail.com or you can email thecoldslice at gmail.com mm -hmm. or you can buy the three songs that are available on iTunes. Or when it comes out on Bandcamp, you can look us up on there. Yeah. Are I you? bought an album already. Yeah. And it's fucking great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. bought one. Yep. He got a signed one. So I, I thought I signed yours. Was, no, you wet. offered and it was raining. Oh, yeah. I was like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see you getting antsy. You're like, I don't really care, dude. Just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have, we, I see you every week, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking great. It's a good album. You guys Thank put you. a lot of work into it. You're doing, yeah. you're, whoever's, it's you, I assume, handling your social media. Brett. It's Brett? Brett does all the social media. I sort of sort of help. But yeah. Brett's He's doing a great job. Yeah. For sure. He's good at that. Yeah. So check them out. Follow them on Instagram, uh, wherever else you're at, too. Yeah. At the Filament Music. Yeah. Uh, social media. They're great. They put up a lot of good content. Uh, buy the album, 20 bucks. Yep. 20 bucks. Yep. Just buy the contact album. Contact me. I'll get you one. Yeah. And then, as always... Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Thank you. The cold yeah!